In this presentation, we're going to look at composite functions. Now, the idea of a composite function, so we're going to set it up in terms of, let's say, f of x and g of x, okay, is that essentially, first off, we have an input into this function f of x, okay, and what's going to happen is it becomes the output over here. So let's say, so the input here becomes the output here, um, but the output here is the input into the second function g of x, if you get me. So it's that's the, really the gist of it, okay? So let's have a crack at this. So let's just say for argument's sake um, that let's do that one there, just to sort of clone that. Essentially what happens here is that I'm going to, yeah, there we go. So suppose our function here is x squared And then the second one is x plus 5 or something like that. Okay. So let's put in our function here. So essentially the x becomes x squared here. Okay. Now, but ra essentially the idea is that the input here is called x and essentially you just add 5 to it. But rather than x, our input here is x squared. So our output is going to be x squared plus 5. Okay. So that's really the gist of it, okay? So again, the input is x and the output is x squared. Now, this function is sort of defined in the, in the sense of whatever the input is, just add 5 to it essentially. So x plus 5, where x is the input. Now, in this case, we have x squared as the input rather than an x. So essentially, our output is x squared plus 5, if you get me. Now, the way we generally write this is f, well, f is the first one, sorry, f is a, f of g of x is how we would write this, okay? And the way we sort of like, would look at this is this is the first one, actually. Uh, actually, I'll just write it in the order I was using earlier on. So we have f of x and g of x there, okay? And the overall composite function is, uh, you write it like this. So essentially, the first thing you do is this one here, the uh, f of x, and then later on, you apply the second function around it uh, to f of x. Okay, so let's give this a go. That's just an old, um, some old material there. So f of x, let's say, is x squared. Okay, and g of x equals x plus 5, okay? I was, that's the one I was using earlier on. So what we're interested in is the overall composite function, okay? Uh, g of, uh, g, the composite function g of, f, g of f of x, okay? That is, first off we have x squared, okay? And then what we're going to do is um, use the rules from g of x and build it around it. So what we have here is rather than x, we have x squared plus 5. Okay. Or x plus 5, we have x squared plus 5. So essentially, we're substituting x here with x squared. Okay, that's really it in a nutshell. So, so far so good. Now, again, f is what comes first, then g of x in terms of the process. And the way we write it is as follows. Okay, so it's a little bit counterintuitive that we do f first and then g. So we actually work at uh, we're going in the opposite direction when we read this. Okay, so let's actually look at the opposite case now. G of f of x, or f of g of x even. Okay, so what do we have here? G of x equals x plus five, then x squared. So let's just use actually our pipeline again. Okay. So our input, the first function, is g of x and f of x, our input is x and our output is x plus 5, okay? So that's the output of the first function there, okay? Now what's going to happen here is f of x is essentially x squared, okay? So it takes the input and squares it. So this is the input we're supplying, x plus 5, and essentially f of x squares that input. So what we get is x plus 5 squared, okay? 
So f of g of x equals x plus 5 squared, okay, or in other words, x squared plus 10x plus 25, okay. So that this is very much the opposite case, okay. So essentially that's a quick introduction to composite functions, okay. So I'll leave it there.